Guest here, it's uh, Kurt Allen, and Kurt is the president and chief executive of the Mississippi Aquarium, and we haven't seen him in a while. Good morning, Kurt. How are you, sir? It's good to have you. Good Good morning. Uh, it's great to be here. Last time we saw each other was up at Neshoba, yeah. having a little, yeah. little talk. Yeah. But so. there, there were some winds that have blown since uh, our meeting at Neshoba, so everything is okay there as far as the facility is concerned? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, hearts go out to our people to the west, but boy, we got yeah. lucky. Boy, did we get lucky. So all we can do is say thanks and uh, do what we can to help our neighbors. We, uh, it's hard to believe that the aquarium there is going to, what, what is the birthday? Is a one-year aquarium the, is coming up. What, what, what's the birthday to this? We had it. It was uh, the fifth, so the 16th anniversary of Hurricane 16. Katrina. <laughs> the Hurricane Ida landfall was our yeah. one-year anniversary. So we certainly didn't celebrate the way we wanted to. <laughs> but we I can do have a celebration that. coming up, though. Tell me about that one, because uh, you're, you're going to kind of kick it off with the cruising on the coast, too, I understand. Yeah, it's it's a really big weekend for us on the coast. And October 1st, we have the Hancock-Whitney Sea of Stars event, which is a new event for us. Uh, mm. A lot of people remember the Splash Bash event that we had for two years in a row. Uh, and then we took last year off due to COVID, and then this year was still a question mark. And so uh, we created a new event and we're partnering with Gulfport uh, Main Street and the Gulfport Chamber of Commerce. And we have an event uh, that really encapsulates both Jones Park and the aquarium. And for the community, because we're we want to be uh, good partners with our community, it's a free event in Jones Park. Uh, mm -hmm. They have about 20 food trucks coming out with music. And then we at the aquarium have a VIP event where we've got great food and beverage and we've got our animals out and uh, it, it'll be a beautiful uh, evening at the aquarium. And that's our annual fundraiser. So people can buy tickets uh, to help support the, the aquarium. And as a 501c3, you know, every year we wanna make sure uh, yep. we, can, we can get those funds in during our fundraiser. So, and then it kicks off the entire cruise in the coast and the cru uh, week, uh, view the cruise is downtown Gulfport that weekend. And then uh, the entire week is cruising. So it's gonna be uh, a great kickoff. With COVID and uh, tropical storm and everything else going on, what's, what's the assessment so far? How you go back and look at a review and said, here's how we're, Here's how we did, and and we are growing, and uh, and things have changed in the last year. Yeah, you know, it was really hard to determine what the expectations should be, and so our you know our board that we report that I report to uh, gave us the confidence of you know manage the revenues as they come in because you don't know how many people are going to show up. Manage the expenses as tight as you can um, so you're not uh, wasting any kind of money. And everybody is pleasantly surprised. So, you know, year one uh, for the one year, uh, you know, we've done over 325,000 people down to the coast. COVID uh, certainly created a, a havoc for us to try to, you know, maneuver through daily what uh, you can and can't do and how many people yeah. and masks and everything else. But uh, overall, uh, we're extremely pleased with uh, the number of guests that have come down and, and uh, the financials look fine. And I know a lot of people have been worried, oh, it's never going to make it. And a lot of naysayers were out there before the aquarium were built. And people should be standing up shouting from the mountaintops about how well we're doing right, right now. I, I got to tell you, it's one of the things that um, cable brings to you, more knowledge. And, and when I watch some of these zoo shows like the San Diego Zoo, one of the things that I take away from that is the tremendous amount of expense it takes to run. And I understand the aquarium uh, is not on the size of the San Diego Zoo, but the expense, people don't uh, understand the expense is, is quite high to keep that thing running the way it's, it's supposed to be. So you, you, yeah, you got to have it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what most people don't understand is is a majority of the expenses for any type of zoo or aquarium is pretty much fixed. You're running pumps, you're running motors, you're running electricity, you're keeping animals alive. You have staff here every single day caring for those animals. And those aren't things that you can just shut the door, lock it, walk away um, like another, like other types of businesses. And so uh, we've been fighting behind the scenes with Congress for relief for zoos and aquariums across the country because uh, there's been a lot of places that have been decimated because they could not open their doors. Uh, for instance, Monterey Bay Aquarium closed for 15 months 
with no revenue through the front door oh. and they had to keep staff and animals alive. And Jeez. so there's a, a little bit of uh, money out there in the COVID acts that have come out, the CARES Act, but not enough to really support. We're gonna see a lot of zoos and aquariums have already shut down. And then they have to move their animals to somewhere else, and then that facility has to take on the burden. So it's been uh, it's been something to something to watch behind the scenes that most yep. people don't realize. Kirk, have you had anything new since uh, it opened? When you take about you, you go back and look at it, uh, anything new in the last twelve months? Uh, not exhibit wise. Uh, we're really in the planning stage right now. So we've got uh, mm -hmm. we've got grants in for some special. Uh, uh, exhibits we've got uh, an exhibit plan that we'll be announcing shortly uh and then we've got uh we probably have 10 or 15 years worth of things that uh, that we want to do so it's just a matter of uh, the strategic plan and how we want to roll it out well i gotta tell you i've talked to so many people the last time we had you guys on i've talked to so many people across the state that and, and they, that, that's one of the top things that they want to do when they go to the coast, especially if you're from North Mississippi, you're going to take a trip to the coast for, uh, and, and I think cruising the coast, coast is going to keep you busy. I think it's going to be a, a, a boom for you guys at the aquarium. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. And then, uh, and then we look forward, once cruising is over, we look forward to the holiday light show that Gulfport puts on, which is wow, you know, yeah. nationally recognized as one of the best light shows. So we've got a lot coming up. And, and these are the slower times of year, typically. And that's why we want to have these types of events at this time of year. Well, we always get great feedback every time you're on. And, and I always tell the people, look, just go to the website. It's all there. And the website is at Mississippi underscore, I think it's uh, Aquarium. At, at msaquarium.org. msaquarium.org. Ms Aquarium. That's it. Yep. And it's all there. Yep. And I guess the update stuff on the Sea of Stars is going to be on there also? That's on there. Get your tickets. We, uh, you know, COVID does throw havoc in and you, we've got to deal with our sponsors and sponsors don't want to sponsor a spreader event. And so we actually limited the number of tickets to only 500 this year. So if you're uh, looking to come out, tickets are very limited. So you got to buy early and uh, the show is this Friday. So Make sure you hop on the website and get your tickets. Well, I was worried about the aviary, but it held up through the uh, storm, so that's good news. Uh, of course, yeah. uh, we well, I think Jeff told us that most of that, th they, they're coming indoors when that blows through. That's right. We, uh, we bring the birds inside, and then, uh, you know, the wind can blow right through that aviary, which is the nice yeah. thing about the design. Yeah. Some, some people were <laughs> saying those, sail, those sails up front are never going to be there after the storm, but I think they've weathered that. They've weathered that, and I think they've proven themselves, and uh, they're going to continue to move us forward. Well, I probably will be seeing you in January somewhere like that, if not before, because the legislature's in town, and uh, uh, yep. people always kind of frequent the legislature, so I hope to see you before then. But, Jeff, it's all, Kurt, it's always good seeing you, sir. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, and uh, we'll see everybody this Friday night. You got it. Do not forget, go to here one more time is the website for all of that. It's at MississippiAquarium.org. You will find.